Okay, we've been working uh, mostly with MLT and Melt in the command line to uh, do some video editing. Uh, we have joined clips and saved them as a file and previewed them. Now we're going to work on transitions, just a basic, simple fade transition, which is probably your most common transition from clip to clip. Um, so once again, let's have a look at our directory. Uh, we have some videos that we rendered in the last uh, tutorial, the, all these 100 ones, and then our original MOVs here. Uh, these uh, MOVs are uh, off uh, our conversions from uh, my original MOVs off my uh, Canon T3i. Uh, we are going to today, as I said, take a clip and fade one to another, and then eventually fade them all uh, together. So uh, we are going to use MLT, and uh, then we're going to give it a file name. So that's our first video there, and then our second video clip, and then we need to tell it we want after each clip basically. Uh, so each clip you put in, after it you give parameters for that. So there's no parameters for our first video clip because we just want to play that video. But our second video clip, we want it to fade over the first one. So we're gonna mix. It's gonna mix both audio and video. So you're gonna get a nice audio fade and video fade. Uh, so for the second video, we want to dash mix it and we're gonna give it the mix length and this is in frames uh, my video was taken at 30 frames a second so we're gonna say 30 because I want a second length of frame uh, fade but you maybe you want longer or shorter fades it's up to you um, and then dash mixer is gonna be the type of mix that you're doing and in this case we're gonna say Luma which is a basic uh, fade transition um, so we're once again using melt we're going to take our first video clip, put it into our project, take our second clip, and then say with our second clip, mix it for 30 frames with the clip before it, and then we're going. what type of mix we're going to use? Mixer Luma. And we're not giving it any video output, consumer output here, so it's just going to give us the preview of it. So go ahead and we'll hit enter, and there it is. You can see fade from one to the next, and then done. Um, We'll hit Q to get out of that. We'll run it again just so you can see. We're going to let one second or 30 frames of transition. Uh, so let's say we wanted to add another video clip to this. So we got our first two. We'll just take the next video clip, put it in there. We will say we want it to mix for 30 frames of the video before it. And the type of mix we're going to use, dash mixer, is going to be Luma. We'll hit Enter fade fade these are short video clips so the second fades on some of them are going to take up pretty much all the video clip because most of these clips are are three to five seconds is what, usually what i film them at uh if i'm not doing a fade effect like this these when i film this i meant for them just to be connected if you saw that video that i uploaded originally so that's great but let's say we want to connect all these videos and fade each of them 30 frames uh with the video before it well, you know, we can type it all out on the command line, or we can go into a script and create a for loop. So I am going to use Vim as my text editor. As always, use the text editor of your choice. I just like Vim. And I'll just call this fader.sh. We will then say that it's a bash script. So in our shebang line, we're going to say bin bash. Uh, next, I'm going to set a variable for the uh, length of the fade. This way I can use a script later on and I can quickly change the length of the fades. So I'll create a variable, I'm gonna call it len for length, and I'll say 30 frames. Next, I'm gonna create a variable called x and I'm gonna leave it blank, but I'm gonna create it. Next, I'm gonna say for i in all our movie cl clips, all our MOVs, and then we're gonna say do, and I'm gonna finish my loop with done, and I'm going to say x equals dollar sign x. Uh, so we're taking x, which right now equals nothing, and we're making x equal to it because we're in a loop. So each time we're going to connect new stuff to this uh, loop, to this variable. So next will be our file name. So dollar sign i, that's our variable created right here. And we are going to, just like on the command line, or in the shell, 
mix, and we'll use our variable for our length. And we're going to say dash mixer luma colon, or not colon, close our, print, our quotations, which I had actually already done. So uh, at this point, I'm just going to go outside our loop, and I'm going to say echo dollar sign x, uh, lowercase x, and put those in quotations. Just so you can see what's going on so far. We're not done with the script yet, but we're going to save it. I'm going to make it executable. And then I'm going to run it like so. And you can see we now have a variable that's equal to file name, mix, file name, how we want it to mix, file name, how we want it to mix, all the way through. So now we can take that and connect it into uh, melt and then use um, eval to run the variable as a command, which I believe I showed you in a previous tutorial. So let's go back into our script here. And this time, instead of echoing it out, once we have that long of all the video clips with the fade uh, mix options in them, we're now going to say x equals x equals our melt command and um, then we're going to say dash consumer because we want to save this to a video clip uh, to an output file of course we can leave this part out if we want to just preview it um, but I'm gonna save it out uh, we're gonna save it to a uh, audio video format and I'm going to give it a name of fade so we know the output is fade. And now, just so this script doesn't overwrite a file that already exists, I'm going to give it a little different of a variable here. I'm going to say date plus percent s. If you follow my tutorials, I do this a lot. Basically, that's just going to give it a timestamp. So it's going to say fade timestamp dot and we'll say avi. So every time I run this script, it's not going to override the last file. It's going to create a new file based on the date and time. Um, next, I'm going to say uh, video codec equals lib. And like I said, I like to use xvid. Uh, and I'm going to give it a rate of 5,000K. I'm not going to worry about audio. I'm just going to let it do whatever the default audio is. And that creates the variable that is our command. And then I'm going to say eval dollar sign x, which will run our command. It will run our variable, which is now our command. And so now if I typed everything right, <clears throat> and uh, I've already made it executable, I can just say fader, hit enter. We will get one or two errors at the beginning here about uh, invalid position for mix, invalid mixer. Uh, the reason I believe for this, once again, I'm kind of new to this whole process with Melt, um, is we gave mix parameters for our first video clip. Well, the first video clip has nothing to mix with because there's no video before it. So that's why we get that error. Um, now, you'll also notice, uh, remember, before we did this, our video was um, 1,413 frames, I think, in the last tutorial. Well, it should be a little bit shorter now. Yeah, 937 fra or 73 frames because our video is shorter because the videos are overlapping. So now if I typed everything right, I should be able to use M player and play our video, which uh, starts with fade. So there's our video file that our script created, fade underscore, and then our timestamp here, dot .avi, I'll hit enter. And there we go. Um, so it's fading each video clip into the next one, or actually the way we did it into the previous, from the previous one, uh, at 30 frames, which in my case is uh, uh, one second. Uh, you probably can't hear it because I disconnected the audio, so it doesn't, uh, so you could hear me talk. But it's also fading the audio, so you get a smooth audio transition as well. So. If you had a whole bunch of clips that you wanted to fade together, and this is great. Um, I love Caden Live. Like I said, I use it for all my video editing stuff. Back in the day, in my Windows day, I had, I mean, this is going on eight years now. I used to use uh, Sony Vegas. I also use Adobe Premiere a lot before I switched to Linux and started working with open source stuff. 
Caden Live, as far as I'm concerned, everything that I had to do that I did in those programs, I can do with Caden Live. But every once in a while, there are things that uh, there might have been options that made things a little bit simpler. And I'll give an example of one of the reasons I like Sony Vegas over Adobe Premiere, and maybe Adobe Premiere could do it, and I just didn't know how, is um, I could set that when I would drag, here's an, oh, oh, Caden Live, I thought I had it open. Um, if I had a bunch of videos, I could drag them to the timeline, but before I drag them, I could have set them to automatically overlap and fade at a certain size. Um, wedding videos, every video clip fades from one to another, <laughs> you know, and that's what I mainly used it for. One of the problems I've had with Caden Live is, at least not that I know of, I would used to have to drag all the videos and then move each video to overlap by one second and then click on each one to do the fade. Didn't take long, but longer than need be. So now I have a script that automates that for me. Anytime that I film a wedding, I can just take the clips from a certain piece of that wedding, run the script on them, and my video is done other than maybe adding music and a fade in and fade out at the end, which we will get into both those things in future tutorials. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. I'll uh, bring up the script again so you can look at it. We'll review it one more time here. We got uh, shebang line saying, just, just telling our operating system this is a bash script. In case you're using a different shell, uh, we want to make sure that the way we're do typing things out is run through bash. So it's a bash script. Then we're saying a variable for the length. Uh, and that's just to make it easier in case you want to change it later on. We're creating our x variable, but leaving it blank. Um, and then we are starting our for loop. And then for each video clip, we are going to append our mix options to. And then we're going to take that and add our melt command and our whatever we want as our video output to it. And then using eval, which once again, uh, I've done a tutorial on, um, which takes our variable and runs it as a command, which gives us our video output. Once again, I'm using the date option here to timestamp the video so that it doesn't overwrite a previous video in the same folder when I run the script so you don't accidentally overwrite something you've created uh, every time it should. Every second it creates a new timestamp, so unless you run the script twice within one second, shouldn't be overriding. Uh, any videos. So that's it. Uh, I'll leave this up on the screen while I talk in case you want to look at it. Filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. Should be a link in the description. I ask that you visit my site. Check it out. Lots of tutorials on there. Uh, video editing, in video editors, special effects with uh, Blender and Caden Live. Also, plenty, plenty of programming, scripting, free and open source tutorials. So um, visit my site. There's a help button there. If you need help, click there. Try not to ask technical questions in the YouTube comments because um, it's not a great place to have those conversations. It's just annoying. Um, also, if you enjoy my tutorials, uh, please visit uh, my site, and there is a donate button. Any type of donation, help the site keep going. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.